Okay, I figured out opening up your mouth and stuff and doing weird stuff like it helps you concentrate. <laughs> Today I'm here with a Christmas or holiday makeup tutorial because I was like, why not? I'm getting ready to film my Vlogmas intro and I'm about to do some holiday makeup looks. So I was like, I might as well film this as a separate video, a uh, holiday tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this gives somebody an inspiration. I don't know what I'm doing though. I'm kind of just freestyling. I don't have anything in mind. So we're just going to see what I come up with and hopefully it's a look. So stay tuned. Okay, we're going to start with eyebrows. Today, I'm going to be using pomade. Um, This is the Benefit. It's by Benefit Pomade. If you can see it, this is the pomade I'm using. I used to use Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade when I would use one. But it used to dry out very, very fast for me. I don't know if somebody, anybody else used that or have used it in the past and that happened with them too. But mine will get very dry and stale looking. So, I have to switch to something else. This one has been okay. It's not all of that, but it does the job. When I use a pomade, sometimes I use a pencil. But today is a pomade, so let's go ahead and fill those brows lightly. Well, one thing about pomade though you want to be light-handed as possible because it can get very very dark quickly i don't like to thicken my brows too much i kind of like a thinner look for my face frame i don't like thick eyebrows at all I'm going to go in with my pencil as well, though, to kind of like. To clean it up, I use the NARS concealer now. Of course, you want a, a little bit lighter shade so that you can get that trim around your brows to make it look very cleaned up. So... For me, I use the brush on the thing because I don't know what happened to my, my brush that I use for my brows. I know some people put the concealer all, all around their brows to get the shape. But for me, I just need to line it right. Where the brow at? I don't need all the extra product there. Then I am going to use this brush. It's just a flat, flat like brush. And I'm going to blend it. And then you want to go back in and you want to kind of like clean it up. If any lines was taken away with the, the concealer, you kind of want to go back over that line section lightly, not too much. Kind of try to clean it back up. So yes, guys, those are my brows. Pretty simple. I'm not the perfect brow girl, but 
I think I do an okay job. Um, and once you start putting your foundation on and everything, the lines in the middle will fade away and everything. So on to the next step. For me, I do like to use the Pro Concealer. Um, this is a for dark mark correction. If you have any like dark spots or areas that like, for me, I don't like like this under my eye. Sometimes I kind of want to put this there. Any darker areas to kind of balance it all out. So I need a new one, but I just put a little bit around here because everybody know that brown skin people are more prone to have a little hyper hyperpigmentation around their mouth area i have some dark mites on my forehead that i hate and yeah honestly i use my finger to blend it in your finger is another tool that you can definitely use use your fingers to blend sometimes because sometimes you use those brushes and you use um blending sponges and it takes the product away sometimes. So that's how it looks once that's on. It looks crazy right now. I know. But we're going to move on. I will be using today again the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. I love this foundation. I used to, I also use sometimes, I'm going to take my nose ring out because I hate when makeup gets on my nose ring. Um the narcissist the nars um foundation is another very good one and this is the foundation brush i'm using this is a nyx brush um number 37 so yeah oh. And you never want to drag it across. You want to kind of like dabble your foundation in and blend it. You don't want to drag it across your face because then it's not going to blend well. It's going to feel like a whole lot of makeup caked up. And it's just, it's not going to look right. So we going to, you dabble it in and dabble and blend, dabble and blend. that line for your eyebrows see you just go over it with the foundation it's just going to blend it all together but it's still going to give you that highlight around your brows brows that you do want but you don't want it too much to where it's like clearly <laughs> an outline there you want to blend it then you're going to go down the middle too where i told you that line from the brows is going to go away because you put in makeup there so dabble 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 for me i don't like a lot of layers um that's based off preference if you want a full full coverage then of course you will put more layers of the foundation on to give you a more full coverage look for me i don't like a lot of foundation on so i never really go with a super full coverage look i kind of do one one layer and and that's it for me I'll go right here under my brow, my eyes a little more though. Because to me, once you start putting on concealer and everything, it's going to layer it up. Anyway, I don't need a bunch of layers of foundation. Okay. So, now that the foundation is laid I use different concealers this is the Tarte um what is this called the Tarte what is this called I can't I can't remember the name of it but it's very popular concealer I have my gripes about this concealer so I will not be using that today today I'm going to be using again the NARS 
concealer and um actually i've been liking this nyx concealer it's a can't stop won't stop as like a second layer because i like to use two concealers to kind of brighten up under my eye so we're gonna dibble in that you do want to always get a concealer when you come to highlight and of course you want to get it up maybe like two shades lighter than what you actually are so you can get that true highlight look that's what sets it, the foundation off you want to highlight i'm using my blending brush this is by kiss um to get this blended today normally sometimes i use a brush it depends on what i'm going for i probably still go in with my brush to kind of like blend it some more but today we're gonna stick with the the spongy sponge and i drag mine all the way over here blend blend it you don't want to over blend it you kind of you want to blend it enough to where it's obviously like mixing in but you don't want to blend too much to where it's no more concealer to be known there because if it's not there then it's not going to give you that highlight that you're looking for And dabble here. Forehead, can't forget the forehead. Okay, and like I said, for me, I do want to go back in with my brush just to give it an extra little push in blend. And this is also a, oh, well, this is an e.l.f. brush. It's any number anyway. It's called the e.l.f. Foundation Blurring Brush, but I use it as like a concealer brush. Different brushes can be purposeful and that's probably why it blurs all right that's why i use it as a concealer that's what it's called a blurring so this is it with one layer of concealer and then again like i said i'm gonna go in with the nyx just to give it a little extra one two right here just right up under the eye I use this brush. It's an angled brush. I use it for, I use it for, um, what is it? I like, but also for my blush. With my contour, the brown, I like a powder. Um, I do have the opal two stick, but it's hit or miss for me. Sometimes I prefer powder. I feel like powder is a little bit easier to blend so that's what i use right here on my contour i don't know where my other brush is so i'll just use this one for my nose And of course, you want to blend that out. I 
our foundation set, our highlight. So then you want to go in with a setting powder or baking, however you call it. This is by Beauty Bakery, B-A-K-E-R-I-E. -B it's called Flower. It's called Better Not Bitter. This is what it looks like. Ending brush and dip it in there. I don't like to bake. I like to just set it right in there and wipe it off because I just do not like the bake look. That's my preference, but to each his own. So then you're just gonna like to just pat it in there. Everywhere you highlight it, you wanna put the, the setting powder. So your nose, your chin, Sometimes you can go up under here too, just to give it that. That crease look. So yeah, this right now is how it's looking. Everybody know after you bake, you look a little ashy, but it's okay. So we're going to pull it together. So then what I like to do is go back in on my brows because, of course, you're doing all of this stuff to your face. Your brows may have or may have not come out of place. So you want to just touch them up a little bit. I don't know what I'm about to do, y'all. I'm so scared because I'm winging it. But what you want to do first is put a concealer or some type of eyeshadow primer on your on your eyelid. And if you're doing cut creases, it's really good to help with the cut crease um, being where it's supposed to go and just lining it in general. Anybody else be making all kind of faces when they're doing their makeup? <laughs> oh, Lord. Y'all watching me today. I can't be doing that. But I got to see what's going on. It's helped me see better. You know, I'd be like, turn. The, can y'all turn the music down so I can see better now? What? What does the sound got to do with? The, okay. Okay. So eyeshadow palettes, James Charles palette. If you know this palette, it has all the colors of the rainbow in it. So I always keep this one on deck. The reason they still so full, cause I don't wear eyeshadow a whole, whole lot like that. But sometimes I be feeling like being adventurous or whatever. So what we gonna do, what we doing? I said holiday, okay. So let's see. I think I'm going to go in with this gold looking color right here. And I'm going to put that on the inside right up in there. And we're only going to just drag this gold halfway here. And then I'm going to flip it. I'm going to go in with, it's like this burgundy shimmery color. And then I'm going to add a little red, this little red, mix those two together. And I'm going to go over here with it.
And you're going to take the blending part and you're going to just blend it a little bit so that the gold and the red can blend together and not just have that harsh line where it meets at. I think I want to go in with it's like a brown, a burnt orange brown shimmer in the middle to give it a more like ombre effect and then blend that Together. This turned out a mess. I might not post it. <laughs> then I'll go back in with that gold because the gold was taking off a little bit too much. Okay. Okay. And then what I like to do, I always like to have a warmer color on the crease where my eye is. So I'm gonna go like this light brownish color and go in, in the crease or right above where I just put that shadow in. To like blend it out well. Give it a gradient effect. I think I want to darken up the the corner here, y'all. I don't. I'm nervous. I'm gonna add some dark brown in the corner to give it a more smokier, dark look. Okay, okay, it's not too bad. Which is like this creamier looking color just to add some brightness back up here. Just a little bit. So this is one eye, you guys. So let's go do the same thing on the other side. Okay, you guys, so I got both eyes done. This is what it's giving, like an ombre fall colors look, as well as like, you know, <laughs> again, I'm not the greatest eyeshadow person, but I think I do okay. Cause what's it giving? <laughs> I just want y'all to see my nails. Okay, so now, I think I got eyeshadow in my eye. I can't even see. I can't even see. This is the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. It's only like $6. I love it. I love it. If you need a um, liquid eyeliner, I prefer this one. I get it all the time. It's $6. And, yep. So, I'm going to go in right here. I'm gonna drag that wing and try to get it right. I 
I struggle with wing eyeliner sometimes because my eye my eyelids are very like meaty. They're not flat, so like I gotta make sure I line it to where when my eye move, it still holds its shape. This is the liner. Cat eyes. Do y'all do under eye liner? I like under eye liner, depending on the occasion. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and hit a little bit. Okay, I figured out opening up your mouth and stuff and doing weird stuff like, it helps you concentrate. <laughs> it helps you to concentrate. So, yeah, so next is lashes, y'all. I'm not going to let y'all watch me put on these lashes because the struggle is real. So, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I got the lashes on. So, then I forgot to go in with my blush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me blush in the shade 55. I'm going to just dab a little bit because this is a darker red, so I don't want to make it too much. And then we have highlighter. This is the Stila, S-T-I-L-A, in the color Magnific Magnificence. That's how I look. It has a mirror. I use my fingers so I can know that I'm not putting too much on there. I just go hit the top of the bridge and the bottom. I don't like to drag it all the way down. Right up under the brow. Right up under the brow here. And then just a little bit with that blush. Sometimes I go right here on the this little what is this the cupid? Can't forget them. I need a new one. This is mascara for the bottom lash. Time to spray that baby down. Don't take away that matte look. This is the, well, this is actually a matte finish. NYX finishing spray. So. Want to make sure all of those ashy looking areas get hit. So then, so I'm fan. What's it giving y'all? I'm gonna be using this lip liner. This is um just a lip liner from the Beauty Supply in brown. Then I'm going to be using this. this is also just like a, a matte pink um, from the beauty supply, sorry. It's actually really good. surprisingly very very good is by nk or knickknack i think or nk makeup and i just found this i haven't used this in so long but i thought this would be perfect to top off the look it's a nyx eyeliner um pencil and it goes like 
on the end. Well, you can use it as an eyeliner anyway. It's a NYX eyeliner. It's called Faux Whites. It's in the color Mint Cream. And I'm just going to go on the inside of my bottom lash. So let's see. And this is how it looks. Isn't it so pretty? Can you see it? I hope y'all can see it. And then on the inside, I'm going to use this NYX suede um, liquid lipstick. It's matte in the color Sandstorm. I'm going to just go on the inner with it a little bit. okay so yes guys this is the final look i hope you guys got some inspiration i hope i did well because i was winging it and yeah thank you for tuning in again i get ready to shoot my intro for vlogmas yes so make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video let me know what you think about my makeup my freestyle makeup make sure you like and subscribe turn on those post notification bell and uh, stay tuned for my next video because vlogmas in december is here <laughs> bye